Ladies and gentlemen, now we continue the action with eight two-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Let's welcome the fighters in. Joining us first in the red corner, Adina Kiss. And now about to make her entrance to the blue corner, please welcome Katharina Thunders. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge of this contest will be Neil Close. Introducing first the fighter in the red corner, wearing pink, weighing in at nine stone, 10 pounds. She joins us with a record of 15 wins and 16 defeats, including nine KO victories, hailing from Budapest, Hungary, Please welcome Edina Kiss. And introducing her opponent in the blue corner, wearing black, silver, and blue. Weighing in at nine stone, 10 pounds. From 15 fights, she has 14 wins and one defeat, including two KO victories. Hailing from Oslo, Norway, please welcome the former interim super featherweight world champion and world title challenger, Katharina Thunders. Okay, both boxers, keep your heads up, keep your punches up. I want nothing on the back of the head. Defend yourselves at all times, or be my commands at all times. Good luck, touch gloves. Back your corner. So Katerina Thanders, who is well known in this country for the one defeat in her career. Around nine stoppage against Terry Harper at Wembley Arena back in November 2020 for the uh, IBO and WBC super featherweight titles. Harper broke her hand in the fourth round of that fight and was too good anyway, had too much. But Thanders with a different kind of challenge here against Adina Kiss, who's 15 and 16 has been in with some high-class fighters and is in with another one here but given that Adina Kiss has been in with Amanda Serrano twice, Michaela Meyer, Heather Hardy a couple of times before she won her world title, I don't think she'll be too daunted here, Barry, against Katarina Thanders. No, she won't, she'll come, no, and if you, if you hold your feet in front of her, then she, you know, she's a hard woman to get through, but I think Thanders, you know, with, with the footwork, the better, no, just a better IQ should be doing this, what she's doing already, just keeping the movement, using that jab. Good right hand there. I can't believe that's two year, over two years ago now since, um, since Terry Harper took the world title in a, in, a, in a great performance, by the way, let's not forget that. And it's been a slow way back for Sanders, as it often can be after a defeat like that. She's beaten Teresa Dvorakova at the Indigo at the 0-2 in May, a points win over six, she steps up to eight here, just feeling her way back almost, if that's possible, at the age of 34. Well, when it comes to women's boxing, 34 is, is nothing, though, isn't it? You know, this, Natasha Jonas is 37, having, the, having the, the, the time of her life at the minute, in the best form she's ever been in. Closing 10 seconds of a, a relatively quiet opening round. Sanders feels like she's very much in control of what she's doing so far.
So round two, Katarina Fanders in those uh, dark trunks there against Adina Kiss, very much in pink and black. Fanders already uh, winning that opening round and boxing nice and smoothly so far, Barry. Yeah, she's using what she got, good footwork, you know, a good solid jab, and she's just, you know, she's stepping in behind the left hand. Just soft kiss from from marching forward, and then using the feet as you see there, but this time with the right hand, stepping in with the shots and moving out of distance, and that's what you need to do when you're the the more mobile of the two. And it's up to kiss then to close the gap. Has two stoppage wins on her record, Fanders, but both of them against the same opponent, Mirabella Kalugareanu. They came within three months in 2017. Even think back five years in women's boxing and you had situations like that where you're sort of struggling for an opponent of any level and ends up fighting the, the same opponent twice in that short space of time but it's a sport or a version of a sport that has caught fire this year no question and women's boxing is on the up and up yeah, that's good right hand there from Fanders there lovely set it up really well, a little shimmy of the shoulders. Sold the feint with the left foot, she threw the right hand over the top. But Kiss is trying to walk it on a little bit more now, she's not just standing in the centre of the ring. Trying to be a little bit proactive, but just maybe a little bit slower hand and foot. Born in Oslo, by the way, Katarina Fandes, but moved to Spain at the age of seven, and just feels like a Spanish fighter, fighting out of Altia. Kickboxing background, but... Got used to using her hands. You can see that though, by the wide stance in the legs, and you can see where the legs are nice and wide. Another good round for her there. then of uh, the scheduled eight two-minute rounds no problem so far for Katarina Fandes no I this has lost her last eight by the way she was uh, outpointed by Rhiannon Dixon in Nottingham in September that was her most recent fight yeah, there's no problem here for Fandes but I think now she can step I think she's found the range and you know, she's finding it comfortable with, with the in and out with the feet good right hand there from her I think she's start going to work now, then it goes in twos and threes. Just don't take a step back, just take a little, little pivot round to the left. Rather than take a little, little lead back and have to you know, set, reset and go again, you just you throw the three-punch combination, a little spin out to the left, you're still in range to fire again. Yeah, you do look at a record and see that just those two stoppage wins, both of them against the same opponent, you wonder, ultimately, is it that lack of... Power, that ability to really turn the screw that will always count against Anders for all of her her classy boxing. Yeah, but she's trying to hold her feet a little bit here and put some purchases on the shots. But she did take a few off the kiss as well. She has to be, be aware of that. But you're going to hold, and again, it's about, you know, uh, it's sometimes it's a mental state. You, know, you don't want to hold your feet to the risk of getting caught. So you just keep moving all the time. And I know that because I did the same thing. I constantly wouldn't, wouldn't, I would never set my feet which means you can, you've got to dig down in the canvas and throw punches. With power. She 
wants to stick to, she wants to still stick to a box, you know, here, though, Fanders. Is she trying to be a little bit more aggressive? That's the right idea, but don't get caught into a, into a bad rhythm here where you're giving Kiss an opportunity to, like this, to fire back. Fernandez is in control. That was a good right hand from her. Good sharp punch to start round four. Yeah, she took a big step there with her front foot, didn't she? Just so she could you know, get, a bit, get a bit of talk there when she threw the right hand. A little turn of the hips. She spears in that jab that time. Kiss is well organised, as she would be given her experience and who she's been in with. Teeth tough, isn't she? You know, you got you got a real, really nail her to you know, to push her back or, or, or make her panic. And I'm not sure whether Thunders has that ability or has that power in her shot to do that. But she's boxing well at the moment, Thunders. I think the foot, the feet are good. Shot selection is pretty decent as well. Oh, it's lovely, lovely. Not so much the punch there, the way she set up. She tipped down to throw a jab to the body and then threw the right hand over the top. Just about the first time in the fight so far that. Kiss looked disorganized. Got every advantage here, Fenders, in, in speed and slickness and in that little touch of sharpness of punch as well. Just starting to take over here significantly. Yeah, and landing with a couple of those good right hands, you can see the confidence in her, in her movements now. As I said earlier, she takes a step back. And then that puts her out the range, she has to go and reset and go again. I think you just take a half step back and then take a little little move to the left or to the right. Keeps you closer to the target. That's a good shot. And again there from Fanders. Boxing well here. So making Kiss pay, miss, making her pay every time she falls short with the shots. It's her best round of the fight so far. The halfway point. well here though found this good movement judging the distance really well and in, in that round getting real some real purchase on that on that long right hand stepping in with the front foot getting closer and, and getting that full extension punching right through the target building in confidence in every round here so far Over the halfway point now, Katrina Fenders in those black and blue trunks against the very, very game Budapest native Adina Kiss. Fenders had by far and away her best round of the fight in that fourth. Kiss has come out and tried to show some intent here. Well, I think she'd had to. She, I think you know, she's got to try and just smother the work here, Fenders, because she's, especially in that last round, she was a sitting duck and she was a target practice for Fenders. So, Kiss has to get closer to the target. And because she doesn't have the fastest of feet, she has to throw when she's moving her feet. 
Saunders has started to use that jab to the body as well as the fight has developed. And his kiss closing that gap again. Mentioned Kiss has been stopped four times, but only once since 2018 when she lost against Michaela Meyer. In the third in Glendale, Arizona. Again, no shame in that, like her other defeats, or many of them. Yeah, it's all quality opposition, isn't it? Constantly with, with Kiss. Oh, good shot there from Founders. Lovely right hand. Let's be honest, Kiss is not the hardest target to find with the shot. Then we have to be truthful about that. You still gotta throw the punches, you still know it's okay seeing the shots, but unless you throw them, then you're wasting your work. And I think Fanders is you know, picking the shots really well, looks comfortable, the, the footwork's really good. I'll get right hand again. And I think she's trying to give him more weight in the shots, she's trying to be a bit more assertive, and I just think she picked the wrong opponent <laughs> to try and get to get another stoppage, unfortunately. But you know, if she's gonna go again, Fanders, and that seems to be the plan as she rebuilds from that defeat to Terry Harper. Maybe they feel that's something she has to do, and that's part of this working process since that defeat to Harper. If everyone wants to be a big puncher. But if you can punch hard enough and stop from walking through you, that sometimes can be enough. Just lovely work there from Thanos. Just see the little faint before she throws it. Little subtle things you don't really see sometimes until it slow down. There's a little faint with the shoulders and the front foot, dipping down low and then coming back up high there with a nice two-punch combination. The night's nice work, isn't it, for Adina Kiss? One that she's got increasingly used to. I would just say a normal night's work. <laughs> Another day in the office for her, yeah. Three rounds to go then, Katarina Fandes, former interim world champion and lost that world title fight against Terry Harper, finding her way back, her second fight since that defeat. The Spanish-based Norwegian. And uh, she's dominant here against Adina Kiss, who's uh, a good level of opponent, but not one we expected to trouble Fandes and not one so far who's managed to trouble her. No, what we said from the first round, if you stand in, in front of Kiss and then load, she'll give, you, she'll give you as good as she gets. You have to use movement, usually around the target, but Thanos has been in and out with the movement and it's been quite effective. And as the rounds have gone on, it's been more effective because she hasn't taken a big step back. It's been a shorter step so she can go again. Nice and loose in the shoulders, Fandes. Good movement all the way through this contest so far. She's doing it for that, isn't she? To make, to make Kiss throw. Not when she wants to, when she has to, out of necessity. And that's when you, you tense up, you pull at your shots, you make a mistake, fall short, and that's where Fandes can come in and counter. She's twice won split decisions, Katerina Fandes, so that one defeat against Harper, but over eight rounds against Tamara Nunes in 2018, and when she won that WBO interim super featherweight title against Daniela Ramos in Oslo, and just a hint of a, maybe a home decision about that as well, so she's not always had it her own way before the Harper fight. You see, because the way she boxes, I can understand how our mind works, just do enough to win a round, that's your whole focus, and sometimes you, you, some people have an ass and nick him rounds. So you're in close fights quite often, especially when you're not a, of course when you're not a big puncher, that can, that can happen quite often. But here, she's not nicking anything, it's a clear, clear dominant display.
And Jesus Labrador and Christian Marset in that Katerina Thandes corner. Talking to her about just keeping those level changes. Looking to body and head and trying to set things up. I think she needs a bit of a bounce to her step. And throw a one, two. Not much, to, not loads of weight behind it. One, two. And in and out with the feet. So come back out, you jump straight back in. And then you plant your foot for the, for the second right hand. So just one, two, step out, come back in again. Ranked number five by the WBA at lightweight. Katrina Thanders, number five by the WBC at Super Feather. Both of those uh, champions, of course, notable. Katie Taylor and Alicia Baumgartner. That's a different level, it feels, anyway. Yeah, they're, they're, they're showing their head, especially Katie Taylor, of course, but even Baumgartner, obviously, after, after beating Michaela Meyer recently, he's on a crest of a wave. Concentration's been good from Tanders tonight as well. And that, you know, that, when you're in a fight that you're dominant, then you can you can sometimes your concentration could can wander ever so slightly, but she's been focused throughout. And she's only taken some shots, and that's been very you know, very rare when she's held her feet and looked to be a little bit more aggressive. There's an awareness kiss. Does have nine knockouts on her record now. Of course, they're nearer the start of her career and. Uh, different levels of opposition, but you know, when someone has got that enough power to do that, you have to be uh, respectful and wary of it. Yeah, God. I was just, sorry, I was just going to say, it was a lovely little foot movement there for the, and to make room for that left foot of the body there from, from Thanders. Trying to do the same thing, a little dip with the shoulder. I suspect, Barry, that Jesus Labrador in the corner is going to be delighted with that, because that's exactly what he was talking yeah. about. Oh, she's boxing really well. have it any other way other than 7-0 here for Katerina Thandes and that's not to in any way disparage Adina Kiss who's been a, a good solid opponent here for a quality fighter yeah let's be truthful I think Thandes is boxing really well and, and we've been praised and rightly so I think but, but this is never a fight that really she was going to lose unless she did something silly of course which might still happen yet you know boxing the most un unpredictable sports but you've still got to do the work. I keep saying that all the time, you've still got to do the work, you've still got to keep the concentration. Just because you're meant to win doesn't always mean you will win. And it's, it's a fight to practice stuff, and I think they're doing that. What they've been doing in the gym, you can see what's, what's being asked in a corner is being produced in the following round, and I think that's the, that's the important part. It's a development fight, a fight where you try things out to bring you on to the next level, to get you back to where she wants to be, and that's for fighting for world titles, of course. And one thing that will be fascinating is to see where she goes next. They'll try and guide her on the journey, and that will be interesting. I don't know if it's a, a curse or a, or, a, or a plus in women's boxing. There's not many places you go. That's that's the thing. There's a big, there's a big gap, isn't there, from one, one level to another. So to move her up might very well be a world title shot. But she's got a good style. She, I think she has a good boxing brain. Good fundamentals, so you know, she'll be a, a decent and a hard opponent for anybody. We'll move to the final 30 seconds. She'll be pleased with her night's work. Katerina Thanders, she'll feel that she's continuing the journey back from that defeat to Terry Harper. It's a solid opponent who's been in with the very best. And Thanders has dominated completely here. Yeah, and doing the sensible thing in this round, and making sure oh, a good right hand there from Thanders, making sure she's dominant but staying safe, not holding her feet. 
Taking the shots well, though, isn't she, Kiss? As she has done throughout the fight. Big embrace at the end. I don't think this one is going to take too long to add up from the uh, the referee's scorecard. Both fighters know it. Sanders completely dominant. You can't even make a case, really, for Kiss having the share of a round. No, I, I think you know, in, in some of the earlier rounds, Kiss came out in, at the beginning of the round trying to close the gap. But then she walked onto a few shots and just sort of held her feet and stayed in the centre of the ring and let Thanders move around her. I think Thanders was picking her shots well from the offset. First early rounds, you know, not holding her feet at all, just keeping light on her feet, fast combinations. But as the rounds went on, she started to you know, plant that front foot in the centre of the stance there to kiss, turn into that right hand, get some good heavy shots on target. And then you know, finish off the fight there, she just boxed sensible and clever. And I think it was a clear dominant display. The IQ was good, the, f the, the fitness was good, the work rate was good. In a, in a, and I think you know she boxed to a plan, and I think the corner will be happy. Well, we just wait for uh, Tuka to make his way into the ring. This is corner, they're telling her what she should have done. See that all the time. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Exactly. <laughs> Three most important words in boxing. Well, three of the most important <laughs> words. Let's get to uh, Tuka in just a moment. He's trying to call Adina Kiss into the centre of the ring. She knows what's coming, but we can get to Tuka. Well, he can project, but not that much, so we just have to wait and work on that uh, technical glitch. Give him a loud hailer. A change of microphone, and now we can get to Tuka. Ladies and gentlemen. One, two, one, two, one, two. Well, we can hear him, but unfortunately in the uh, arena, no one else can, one. so... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Here we go. ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, our scoring referee Ron Curran has scored the start 78 to 75 in favor of your winner, Katharina Thunders. Well, Thunders got it. Closer than we had it, potentially 78 to 75, but she moves to 15 and 1.